that's what's more fun for me. I spent most of my life as an Many Chinese actors have found their fortune in the Hong Kong film industry, but few have reached the dizzying heights Jet Li has. He often plays the underdog or face of injustice. Jet himself actually had to overcome a world of hardship to become an international superstar. Jet is the youngest of five children, and at the tender age of two, his father died, leaving him and his family to struggle on their own. At eight years old, he began studying wushu, which is Chinese for martial arts. Lee's natural talent enabled him to remain national champion of wushu for five straight years as a teenager. Retiring from the sport at 17, Jet channeled his energy into acting, starring in his debut film, The Shaolin Temple. The success of this film led to two sequels and created a reputation for Lee as a kung fu hero. As the martial arts good guy, Jet continued through the 90s in similar fashion, most notably in the Once Upon a Time in China series until he was given a shot at the American film industry in Lethal Weapon 4. Still a bit rusty with the English language, Jet was cast as a one-dimensional bad guy, which was unfamiliar territory for this Hong Kong hero. The first time I played a villain. I played a lot of heroes in Asia, so... I didn't know why, you know, a lot of audience liked me, you know. So I'm very happy, I'm very exciting, you know. I played a villain, a lot of people like me, you know. I need to learn English, more English. I hope I can make another movie better. Displaying a great deal of scene-stealing charisma and lightning-fast fighting skills in Lethal Weapon enabled Jet to ride the wave of kung fu cool that hit American pop culture in the early 2000s. Martial art and hip-hop fusion films such as Romeo Must Die and Cradle to the Grave gave Lee plenty of street cred, increasing his profile quickly. Of course, the critics weren't always happy but a determined Jet believed the action was a key component to the narrative. That's more important than just just for fighting, uh, fighting, fighting, and fighting. I think a martial art, if you use the right way, can help the character, help the story. It's much better storytelling. The story was very important to Jet in the historical and semi-biographical film Fearless. Lee acts as a Chinese martial arts hero. The film also reflects Jet's own journey through life. The movie is a little bit like uh, described a story, Dis discovered a character through the martial art, through the emotion, through your heart. You know, when you're very happy, how can you control your body? If you're very upset, very painful, how to use your body to tell the audience? That's the other question. I think uh, a lot of people say, you know, martial art, Chinese martial art movie quite popular in the world. That's because the, without the language, you through the characters, through the physical move, you can feel it. What do they, what do the character think? What, what is the story? Jet's contribution to the action genre would come to fruition in 2010 when he was cast in the all-star, all-action film, The Expendables. This brainchild of Sylvester Stallone was a massive commercial hit, and Lee was honoured to work for the tough guy, Sly. He's not just a great action man or actor, he also is a great writer, great director for action films. He have a heart. You know, usually action movie, just a fight, fight for the beginning, beat up someone, beat on the end. I think that his movie always show you something, the character, so that's, uh, I'm really respect work with him. The impact Jet Li has had on both the martial arts and action genres over the past three decades is undeniable. He was chiefly involved in the breakthrough of Chinese cinema and he's also helped sustain the growth of the action genre. In fact, no amount of ice packs or bags of frozen peas can dull down the swelling those fists of fury have created. Stick with us here at Star Fix for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. Find or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and MNC.TV.